If you want a career in cybersecurity, listen up, because this is where most people fail before they even get started. Cybersecurity is not just about hacking. And when you watch these Hollywood movies, they really haven't helped when it comes to showing people what cybersecurity is all about. See, cybersecurity is the enabler. We in cybersecurity allow business to do what the business does best without any interruption. It's about protecting networks, computer systems, like critical data. And guess what? If you don't understand networking and how computers talk to each other, you're gonna have a tough time understanding cyber. And simply think about it this way. The people who are attacking these businesses and the government agencies, they're not sitting in the same building as we are in cybersecurity. No, no, no. These people are from other countries, other continents, from Nigeria, China, Russia, Iran, you know, South Africa, even in America, right? They're sitting in all these other countries and then they're attacking computers from other countries. So think about it this way. If I am the attacker and I'm trying to attack someone who is in Russia right now, guess what I will do? I will use my computer, go through the network, the internet network, and then be able to attack them wherever they're located, in this case, in Russia. So you can see this networking of computers, it's really, really critical. And in cybersecurity, we have this saying that goes like, if you want something to be secure, you have to disconnect that thing from the network, unplug it from the power, and then maybe throw that thing in the ocean somewhere. And only then that thing will be secure. If anything is connected to the network or the internet, then it's hackable. Then that means someone from anywhere around the world can get to it. I think it makes sense to learn and understand what this networking, right, this thing that everybody's connected to is really all about. Because if you don't and you just jump right into cybersecurity, is like trying to secure a house without really knowing how the door, the windows, the lock work. If you don't understand TCP IP, the OSI model, IP addresses, subnetting, firewalls, you know, DNS, DHCP, how packets move from one location to another, you, my friend, are going to be lost in this industry of cybersecurity. And that's why certifications such as the CompTIA Network Plus and the Cisco CCNA are game changer. In fact, in fact, hold on a minute. I brought my CCNA, there we go. I brought my CCNA certification that I got about 10 years ago, got certified about 10 years ago. And I have my network plus is there on the wall somewhere. I, I'm, I'm sure you can see that. But the reason why I specifically I brought the Cisco CCNA certification is because this thing, this thing that's looking at really changed my life. Here's a quick story about this certification. So I graduated from a university and at this time, let me put that down. And at this time, this is when the school that is known as IT Tech, I believe. I'll, I'll, let me look it up. The school that is known as IT Tech or IT Technical Institute, this is when they had just shut down, like they were getting to shut down. So their students come to a school where I just graduated from. So when I was getting ready to graduate, these, these students were coming. So I'm there and I had my A plus at the time. I, I just had my A plus, the CompTIA A plus certification. And these people are coming and they're trying to get into these A plus classes that the, the, that school that I just graduated from all had. So I apply to the open role because they were looking for people to teach. 
And they say, you know what? I'm gonna apply. So I applied to that room and I knew the teacher. I know the program director of the program. So I talked to him and I said, you know what? I just graduated. I have my A plus and I, so I like this stuff. And in the whole class, they, and I, I was on top of things. So uh, I talked to him about it. I tell him, hey, hey, I apply. Hopefully I get the gig. So long story short, they don't give me the job. The president says, you are a rookie. <laughs> you don't know what you're supposed to be doing. Like, like, you don't know your stuff, which he was right, by the way. So they deny me. Uh, I don't get the job. So I go on and I find this IT tech support job where we were working with the local school systems. We were upgrading computers for the students, but also for the teachers for the local district. So we're moving from elementary school, high school, middle school, that kind of stuff. That was my very first IT job, by the way. So anyway, I get this job and then I come to find out this, come to find this guy who was our managers, been there doing that for about 15 years. So this one day, uh, we were working really hard because this was hard. We were going under the desk. Uh, it's I don't know if you know about the schools, but it's dirty when you get it under the desk. You know, they haven't, you got the idea. Anyway, we're right there. We're setting up these uh, desktop machines and they're, if you know anything about desktop computers, you have wires. You have wires for the power, wires for the uh, the internet, the RJ45 cables, and things like that. So we set up the whole you know room, and then he comes back around you know 2 p.m. one of these days. Then he says, "I want you all to redo this." We say, "Okay, why?" He says. Uh, I want all these cables to be tied up as if they were tied up by a robot. Oh yeah, that day we worked until uh, I think it was 6 p.m. that day. Uh, you know, we had to on, uh, you know, take those zipper logs out, uh, those zipper things out, and you know, tie them up again, and do all that kind of stuff. Then this other day, this other day, we went to this school because you know, like the night before, we he would tell us, you know, tomorrow we're gonna go to this other school. So we go to this school, we get there on time, early, then we get out of our cars. And this guy comes like 15, 20 minutes late. And then he says, you guys should have, you guys should have stayed in the car. You make me look bad. <laughs> Cause yeah, like we got out of the car, then we start talking, right? Standing in front of our cars. And then it hit me. I say, what? So I started asking some of the people that was with us, people who've been working with him for like a very long time. And there was this guy who was working for him for about seven years. So we start asking him questions. We're like, okay, has this guy been like this all these years? Uh, and, then, and then he told us, yeah, yeah, that's how he is. You just, if you know, you, you're gonna work for him, you're gonna just roll with that. I say, huh, wow. I remember thinking, I'm like, huh, yeah, I need to do better. So guess what I did? I hit the books. Yep. So I started studying for my, you guessed it. I'll bring it back. I'll bring it back because this changed my life. I started studying for my CCNA. Mm? That time I started studying for my CCNA and a few months later, uh, later I got certified. When I got certified with that CCNA, I went to the school, the school that have denied my application. I told them, look, I have CCNA now. And guess what? the 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 hiring manager said i want you and he goes to the school president the guy who denied the application and he tells him look i want to hire this guy right i could I, I cannot find anybody who's qualified we as a school we can't hire somebody who doesn't have a certification to teach another class that requires a certification so i really want to hire this guy right he's passionate he's been in the industry for a few months now Okay, uh, he got the certification. He'd been studying about this. Lucky me, I got the job, right? I got the job. So I'm telling you this story because when you look online, there's a lot of people going in and telling you, you don't need certifications. I was able to get a six figure job without a certification, without a degree, without a this. Look, maybe, maybe not. Hmm? Maybe, maybe not. I'm telling you my story, and my story is this certification, CCNA, changed my life. Because from that time, I went on and got the rest of them. 
I used to just Google stuff. I'm like, what is the highest paying certification? And they said, go take this one. I still have it. It's, it's right there. I don't, I don't know if you can see. I probably should take a camera right there. Actually, I'm pointing to it. It's the ITL certification. That certification, I took it because Google says, you can make more money, you know, doing this. But anyway, I went on and got the uh, uh, Network Plus, Security Plus, CISA Plus. Um, I got the Casp Plus, Linux Plus. I got, you know, the the other certification like EC, uh, EC Council certification, CEH. I got the CHFI. I got the CISSP. And, and recently I've been getting some of these ISACA certification like CISA, CISM and the like. So, the moral of the story here is that people, when you watch these people on YouTube, they're telling you, you should not get certified. I was able to get a six figure job uh, without a certification, without a degree, without a this. One thing that I find really fascinating is that some of these people had degrees and had certifications. And then all of a sudden now they're teaching you how you can get a job without a degree, without a certification. Wow, I find it really, really fascinating. Maybe that works, but has, that has not been my uh, path. So I wanna leave you with this. Networking skills are essential. You have to know how computers talk to each other, how the data move from point A to point B. Most people who struggle in cybersecurity is because they skip the prerequisites. They skip the core foundation. If you start with the core foundation, everything else once you advance your career in cybersecurity everything else will fail will fail in place so if you are serious about cybersecurity you got to start with your core foundation and the networking skills are essential you got to learn it you got to master it and to get your uh, get yourself certified all right get the network plus get the ccna you never know, you never know. That's the certification that the hiring managers are looking for. If you've made it this far, I have just one favor to ask you. I'm trying to grow this YouTube community to 100,000 subscribers. Now, right now, I'm getting close to 10,000. So please smash the sub subscribe button, and then I will see you in the next videos.